So venetoclax is an inhibitor of a molecule called BCL2. And BCL2 is a protein that allows cells to survive. And it is recently been FDA approved for the treatment of, of CLL. And in myeloma, we've been testing it because we found, as others have, that some myelomas are dependent on BCL2 for survival. And so what I've talked about today was trying to understand which myelomas are, are sensitive to venetoclax. Turns out it's only a small fraction of them, but in the, what we've seen in the early phase one studies with venetoclax as a single agent is that the patients who respond, respond incredibly well. And so we wanna understand how we can better identify who those patients are. And so we go back to the laboratory using either samples from, the, from patients who are on the trial or cell lines and to, to better to characterize the response to venetoclax and so that we can come up with a marker that will allow us to quickly identify patients who we believe will benefit from this new exciting treatment. So I think the key question for us to answer with the use of venetoclax in multiple myeloma is, 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 as I said, identifying those patients that we think will benefit the most. And so that would be the first question. The other thing that we have been working on in the laboratory has been to try to identify what would be the best uh, agents to combine venetoclax with. And we've already just come up with dexamethasone as a really good interaction with, uh, with venetoclax in myeloma, and we're trying to move that forward into the clinic as well. And then also to look for other potential in interactions with venetoclax where we think uh, the combination will significantly benefit from its addition.